Hey guys, Paul there, you here with FX4. Well, turkey season has come and gone for spring. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to bag a bird this year, but hey, I am one of many. It appears here in Missouri, we were down 17% as far as birds taking. We only took about 35,000 birds this year, where last year it was around 43. Um, we had, for opening opening day, it actually snowed on me uh, this spring, so it was it was a very weird year. The the toms were not as active as we thought. I even had at one opportunity a hen come out into this field that I was watching and just yelp and scream. She was probably the most excited I've ever heard a hen out in the out in the wild, and not a single tom or Jake following her. So very odd this year. Uh, got a lot of footage of nothing, a bunch of decoys, so I wasn't able to share anything with you. But while I was out there, um, I did run into uh, some concerns about the Mossberg 835 uh, that I used. Now, obviously, in a previous video, you saw that I put on a reflex sight on this particular gun. But uh, it comes with some fiber optic uh, sights already from the manufacturer. Now, through shooting, my father actually purchased the same gun. Through shooting, they were dead on. He didn't have to do any adjustments uh, prior to getting out in the field, where obviously uh, in my previous video I showed you that I had some adjusting to do. But what I did run into as I was going and actually hunting for these toms due to they weren't coming out in the fields, I actually had to get into the woods and see if I can walk up on a few. I noticed that I was actually bumping uh, the factory sites on on this particular gun. So in this video I'm going to do a quick review of the Mossberg 835 and hopefully in the in the future we'll get to, since it's spring now moving quickly into summer we'll get some fishing videos but in this video let's kick it off with the review of the Mossberg 835. <laughs> For the first part of the review, I'm going to go ahead and grab it. So here it is, the Mossberg 835. This was newly purchased this year. What I'm going to uh, talk about here are these, these guided sights here uh, for the fiber optic sights. You have two guided sights here, and then you have your pin sight there, which is also fiber optic. So this one obviously is stationary. This doesn't have uh, any movement to it. These, however, and I'll put it back on the table and give you a close-up, they have it where you can adjust left to right. And what had happened was is it actually got completely bounced and it was, it was off to the side. So I'll show you that in a close-up. Obviously the reflex sight was great. Uh, this particular one I got on Amazon for about 20 bucks. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm on a very tight budget here, so uh, I didn't I didn't go out and buy anything real expensive, but but for what for what this site for how much this site cost, it did pretty well. You're able to adjust it based on the uh, based on the lighting of, of the day if you want it brighter or, or or dimmer. You can see that on my previous video where I actually installed this particular unit. But the main um, it shot well. The main issue I have with it, not only is the factory sight being pushed off, and I'll show that here, but is the stock itself, and I'm going to see if I can catch this on camera. So the stock itself, if you can listen, it has a whole lot of play in it. You hear that? And you can actually probably see that on camera. There's a whole lot of play in it. So as I'm actually, at one point I was army crawling into the woods, we actually walked up on four times uh, during the snow shower that we were actually hunting in opening day. And I noticed this thing, as I was crawling, trying to hold on to the gun, this thing was clicking and clacking and, and really pushing off a whole lot of noise. So I'm going to do some research, see if there's anything I can do to quiet that down. Obviously it, it's pretty loose and I've gone to a couple of different outdoor shops and I've noticed this is this seems to be a fashion for Mossberg guns is this this play right here in the pump itself so other than that shot very well when I was sighting it in it's light the Masio breakup is perfect very nice looking gun um, I did notice when I was shooting 
that if you do not, I'm shooting three and a half inch number fours, uh, long beard. So when during during shooting, if you don't really ram back on this after after shooting that three and a half inch shell and that plastic expands a little bit, it will get stuck up in there. I actually had to take the gun apart in order to get that and remove that shell. So while while out there target shooting and actually getting in, you really in order to spit that shell out. Um, as far as when the shells are in there and you're just and you're just popping them out based on if you didn't shoot anything came out just fine. I uh, didn't have any problem with them uh, falling out of the chamber. I know that was an earlier issue. Them falling out of the chamber uh, because of a little sprint, little catch here back here. I didn't have that problem, but I did have the problem if I didn't ram this back really hard, it wasn't going to spit out that shell. Uh, other than that. You know, I didn't. I wasn't able to shoot a bird with it this year. Uh, brand new to me this year. It's 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 a great looking gun. Got a nice sling for it. Very light. It's it's got a short barrel on it. Um, so it did not it did not get into uh, the trees or anything. I was I was walking in. But let's get it out on the table, and uh, we'll look into it in more detail. All right, guys. Here you go. The Mossberg 835 Alti Mag 12 gauge shotgun. Uh, new to me this year. On um, a previous video, I went over installing the Pictani rail and the reflex optical sight. But here it is. Here's that mossy oak breakup again. Uh, very close up. Very great looking uh, job on the paint scheme here. Here you're going to see the uh, standard fiber optic sight that came to the factory. Here we've got a ulti full choke tube that came with the particular gun. And here's where I ran into the issue. So here is your standard fiber optic sights that comes with it. And as you can see, you've got three settings here um, as this just kind of lifts up and goes based on your targeting when you're sighting this thing in. But this had actually, uh, from, from crawling around and moving in the woods, it has actually popped off and moved over. So that's, that's kind of a uh, poor function in my book. Um, if you're not paying attention and, and this thing has gotten bounced and you go to sight in on a bird and, uh, and, you sh and you shoot and miss, it could very easily be because that thing got jumped, bounced off. So that's, that's one negative feature to it. Obviously, I, d I don't have that issue went with the reflex sight, but standard issue, um, that could cause an issue. Uh, the other issue really up close is here on the pump, that play. Uh, a lot of play here and again I went to other outfitters and uh, looked at other Mo Mossberg weapons and this pump was uh, loose on just about all, all of them. So here it does have the dual extractors, twin action bars here, um, really smooth as, as far as e ejecting those shells out. It does come with the safety mounted on top of the stock here which I like instead of on the Remington I used to hunt with a Remington and had it uh, at the base behind the trigger I actually prefer it on top just in case I need to switch to go left-handed um, I can pull off that that safety a lot easier uh, standard trigger pull uh, here's your here's your release in order to uh, pull back on the pump but in full detail it's got a 24-inch uh, ported barrel. Shot very well when I was uh, out patterning it. Like I said, the only downfalls I've got is would be this fiber optic as it moves and can get bounced while walking around the woods. And just the loose list of that pump here. So there it is. All right, everybody, that wraps up my review on the Mossberg 835. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't seen the video where I actually patterned the gun in, went over some of the basic features of that reflex sight, installed the sight and the Pictani rail, you can click on that now. Otherwise, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Until next time, see you guys on the water. Here, Fishy Fishy. <music>